for today's lesson, we will be discussing about the mean and standard deviation of a discrete probability distribution. So, in our previous video, we discussed how to solve for the values of a uh, random variable and we also uh, learned how to construct the probability distribution of a discrete random variable. So this time we will talk about the mean, variance, and standard deviation of a discrete probability distribution. So let's define first what is the mean of the discrete probability distribution. So it tells us the value of a random variable that is expected to be obtained if the experiment is done repeatedly. So it's like we're getting or we're trying to identify what value should we expect if we will keep on doing this experiment. This is also called as the expected value. And for the standard deviation, it indicates how far on average an observed value of a random variable x is from its mean. It means uh, the standard deviation tells us how far or how spread out the scores are from the mean. If the standard deviation is high, that means the scores are more spread out or they are farther from the mean. And if the standard deviation is smaller, that means they are closer with one another and closer to the mean. Now, to solve for the mean of a discrete probability distribution, so we'll be using this formula. So this symbol right here, this one, is what we call as the mu, or that is the symbol for mean. Then we have this E of x, or that is the expected value of our x. So the mean and, and expected value are just the same. And then for us to solve for the mean of the discrete probability distribution, we just have to get the summation of x times p of x. x refers to the value of our random variable. This p of x, this is the probability of each random variable. So all you have to do is to multiply each value of the random variable with its corresponding probability and then get the summation. And that will give us now the mean of our discrete probability distribution. For the variance, so this is the symbol that we're using. So this one is sigma. So sigma squared is equal to the summation of x squared times p of x minus mu squared. So to get our variance, all we have to do is to square first our values for the random variable. And then we multiply it again with the probability. After that, we'll get the summation. And then we have to subtract here the square of the mean. So in order for us to get the variance, we should have the value of the mean first. And lastly, to get the standard deviation, all we have to do is just to get the square root of our variance. So again, those are the formula that we have to use if we want to solve for the mean, variance, and standard deviation of discrete probability distribution. So let's try to find the mean, variance, and the standard deviation of the discrete random variable x with the following probability distribution. So I have here uh, x, which is or which are the values of our random variable, and then we have p of x or the probability of x, and then uh, we have another column here, which is for the product of each random variable and their corresponding probability. So since the probability is given in fraction, we can uh, convert this into decimals so that we can easily multiply. So we have one over ten, that's zero point one. Then one fifth that is 0 0.2 and then we have two fifths that's 0 0.4 so again we convert it first into decimal so that we can easily multiply and then now what we will do is you multiply now the values of x with each corresponding probability so 4 times 0 0.1 so that's 0 0.4 3 times 0 0.2 0 0.6 2 times 0 0.4 that's 0 0.8 1 times 0 0.2, 0 0.2, and 0 times 0 0.1 is 0. Now, after getting the product of each random variable and the corresponding probability, we can now solve for the mean. Okay. So, to solve for the mean, so we'll be using the formula mu is equal to the summation of, then we have x times p of x 
or summation of the product of the value of our random variable and its corresponding probability. So all we have to do is to add this. So we have 0 0.4 plus 0 0.6 plus 0 0.8 plus 0 0.2 plus 0. That will give us 2. So therefore, 2 is the mean of our um, discrete probability distribution. Now, after solving for the mean, we can now go and solve for the variance. So, we have here now x squared, or we have to square our random variable, and then we have here x squared times p of x, or we multiply the square of the random variable by its probability. So, let's write here again the decimal values of this. So, I have 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.4. Okay, now we square the x or the values of our random variable. So that's 16, 9, 4, 1, and 0. And then after that, let's multiply. So 16 times 0 0.1. That will give us 1.6. 9 times 0 0.2. That is 1.8. 4 times 0 0.4. That is 1.6. And then 0 0.2 times 1 is 0 0.2. And 0 0.1 times 0 is 0. Now, to get the variance, so we have to use the formula sigma squared is equal to the summation of x squared times p of x minus mean squared. So we have to get the summation of all of these last column. So 1.6 plus 1.8 plus 1.6 plus 0 0.2 plus 0. That will give us 5.2. 5.2. And then we subtract here the mean a while ago is 2. So you square it. That's 4. Therefore, the sigma that we will get is 1.2. Or this is now the variance. So, our variance now is 1.2. Now, to get our standard deviation, all you have to do is get the square root of our variance. Therefore, our standard deviation will be 1.095. So, that is now the standard deviation of our probability distribution. Let's have another example here. So we have here again this table. We have the values of our random variable x and we have the corresponding probability. So let's solve for x times p of x or let's multiply uh, the value of our random variable with its probability. So this one is 0 0.021, 2 times 0 0.135, that is 0 0.27. And then 3 times 0 0.115, that is 0 0.345. We have 4 times 0 0.245, that is 0 0.98. And then 5 times 0 0.261, that is 1.305. 6 times 0 0.124 that is 0 0.744 0 0.067 times 7 that is 0 0.469 and lastly we have 8 times 0 0.032 this one is 0 0.256 now to get the mean so again all we have to do is get the summation of our x times p of x. So we have to add this. Therefore, the value that we will get is 4.39. So this is now the mean of our um, discrete probability distribution. Now, let's go and solve for the variance and the standard deviation. So again, we square the values of our random variable. So we have 1, 4, 9, 16, 25, 36, 49, and 64. 
And then after that, let's multiply the square with the corresponding probabilities. So we have here 0 0.021. And then 4 times 0 0.135. That is 0 0.54. And then 9 times 0 0.115. That is 1.035, 0 0.245 times 16, that is 3.92, 0 0.261 times 25, that is 6.525. 0 0.124 times 36 that is 4.464 0 0.067 times 49 that is 3.283 and last 0 0.032 times 64 that will be 2.048 so now, let's solve for the variance. So to solve for the variance, again, sigma squared is equal to the summation of our x squared times p of x minus the square of the mean. So let's now get the summation of our last column. So, 0 0.021 plus 0 0.54 plus 1.035 plus 3.92 plus 6.525 plus 4.464 plus 3.283 plus 2.048. And we have 21.8. And then we subtract here our mean a while ago is 4.39. So you square it. So that will be 19.2721. And then let's subtract so we can get the variance. So we will get 2.5639. 2.5639 or 564. We can round it off here. So this is now our variance. And now to get our standard deviation, again, just get the square root of that. So square root of 2.564. So that will be 1.601. So that will be our standard deviation. So we're able now to get the mean, the variance, and the standard deviation. So again, for the mean, all you have to do is to multiply our values for the random variable by its corresponding probability, and then get the summation. For the variance, you square the values of the random variable first, multiply it with its probability, get the summation, and subtract the square of the mean. And then to get the standard deviation, all you have to do is just to get the square root of the variance. So that's it for today. I hope you learned something about the mean, standard deviation, and also the variance of the discrete probability distribution. And see you next time.